All right, guys. Friday, February 25th. It's about a little after 12. And I've got my new apricot Pueblin milk snake I was telling you guys about that I was going to be picking up on Friday. And today is the day. And as you can see, this guy is out. Just like I said, he's not really trying to hide or anything. Most of them will be under the substrate or under the water bowl or something. Um, this is how he's been. Uh, it's been about two weeks since I actually picked him out and put him on hold. Um, so anyway, uh, we'll go ahead and pull him out. Um, I can't... Oh, all right, well, he did jump a little bit just then. Uh, they're a milk snake, so, you know, they're not totally, you know, going to be 100% chill. But, um, and he may still, you know, musk me or something. Like I say, it's actually been about two weeks since I had him out holding him and, and decided that this is what I wanted to get just because of his demeanor. Uh, but anyway, um, let's go ahead and undo the lid. Um, like I say, he may prove me wrong once we get going with this video. But right now, he seems to be pretty much like he was. Yeah. Um, but they did feed him. Yeah, he's actually trying to get out already. Um, they did feed him on the 22nd, so just uh, Monday. Uh, they fed him, so same day that they fed the... Uh, Samboa that I got. So anyway, um, beautiful snake, absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I'm saying it's a him. I honestly don't know if it's a him or a her, but um, anyway. Okay, well, let me take advantage and grab him before he does end up reverting on me. Um, oops. Okay. All right, yeah, he is starting to all right, freak out just a touch here. All right, so let's get him out. Like I said, he's been pretty good. I mean, obviously, this is the first time I've held him now since about two weeks back. And uh, so far, so far, so good. Nothing's eking out just yet. So, all right, let's go ahead and move his tub out of the way as well. All right, so this is an unboxing of sorts, obviously, on this snake here. All right. And uh, you'll remember when I unboxed uh, a pre back in August, uh, I was doing it one hand, and that turned into a nightmare. So, uh you know, I figure this way now, I've been doing my unboxing videos for the most part with uh, two hands. It makes it a lot easier, obviously, but try and show this one off. Like I say, I mean, you can already see this is a complete night and day difference from when I had a pre. Um, and this is definitely one of the reasons why I picked this one out. I, I had looked a few weeks back, like I say, at like three or four others. Um, and, you know, they were all hidden under the Aspen or under the water bowl or whatever. And this was the only one that was, like I say, out and about. Um, I did, like I say, grab the other couple two or three of them, and they were absolutely just like a pre was. They were pooing, they were freaking out. Um, you know, uh, none of them tried to bite me, but they were doing everything else. So, like I say, this little guy here just, you know, for obvious reasons, that's why I have him now. 
on is just because of this whole demeanor here. This, this is what I was talking about in a previous video or two. Um, but this guy is just the exception to the rule, really. Um, that's not to say he's not going to have his little moments, you know, he's going to skits, skits out or whatever, but in all fairness, though, this is really, you know, if I couldn't ask for a better scenario right now with one of these type of snakes. And I really do, I absolutely love this uh, color scheme here. Um, I love the banding. I love the uh, black, yellow, red, you know. Um, and I mean, honestly, I, I would have never got rid of a pre except, you know, every time I would go in there to get her for a handling session. I mean, she just would just cut loose and just, you know, it was just a shit show. Pardon my French, but literally a shit show every time. Um, she did bite me that first time in the video. Uh, she never actually bit me after that. You know, so that was, you know, a plus, I suppose. But she did everything else consistently. And, uh, you know, I just had enough after two months of owning her. And, um. So I went ahead, that's when I got butterscotch, my corn snake, my motley butter. I went ahead and took her back, and that's when I got uh, got butterscotch. So, And butterscotch is a total dream of a corn snake anyway. So, but um, anyway, I, I love the, the coloration. Like the bands, the apricot is because, you know, obviously it's a more richer yellow. Um... Now, I had eyeballed a, a Pueblin, just a regular Pueblin milk snake, a week or two before I saw these apricots come in. And I was almost going to get one of those, but of course the banding would have been white with the uh, black and red. Would have had white banding, which I would have been okay with, but... And like I said, I almost went ahead and grabbed one of those, just because I was missing the idea of having one of these type of... Uh, milk snakes in my collection but um in all fairness though then when these apricots showed up and uh, definitely this one here is really th this is a complete you know reason to get this one uh, all day long you know this guy is absolutely just chill you know literally he's just a chill snake i mean you just look at him I mean, he really is there there's just no it's just amazing, man. I mean, you know, it's just every other snake, any other milk snake, apricot, whatever, regular Pueblins, they just freak out. And he's still got a couple of these there. He's still got some regular Pueblins, and he has a few apricots still there, too, you know. But, um... And when I got a pre in August, I, literally, I got her on a Friday afternoon as well. And I ended up, by Sunday, I, I had gotten sick that weekend. And Monday, I found out that I had caught, caught COVID. And so I was out of work, you know, for two weeks then. And so, you know, I started spending time doing handling sessions and stuff. And because she was so wily, and I was trying to get her calmed down and stuff, you know. And then, long story short, I was supposed to get scheduled for back surgery as well. And then that got canceled because of the whole COVID deal. So then in September, the end of September, I was able to get my surgery done then. And so then once again, I'm out for about seven, eight weeks out of work. So I had all kinds of time to spend with my snakes. And, you know, like I say, by mid-October, mid you know, that's when... Uh, I had just kind of had enough, uh, uh, you know, I was going to try to work with a pre and, but, and I, you know, I understand that they will eventually grow out of that whole stage, but it, you know, I just didn't at that time have the patience to just continually get musked and pooed on every time I wanted to, 
try to get her to gain trust and, and calm down and, you know, the whole bit. So, um, show the belly a little bit on this one too. Um, but anyway, so, but this is a complete night and day difference. This snake is, it, I can already tell this is going to be a joy to have in the collection. I mean, it's just, and it's basically, you know, full rings, full bands, you know, there's not too many, there might be one or two little blips in its banding, you know, um, kind of like, uh, Jupiter. He's basically got full bands on his. There's two areas where the bands break up, but honestly, that just adds to his beauty, in my opinion. You know, uh, he's just a beautiful snake. And uh, like I say, this is absolutely just, you know, a win-win. This little one here is going to be a win-win for sure now. I mean, no musking, no biting, no freaking out. I mean, it's just chill, you know. Just, just absolutely just a little chill snake. I mean, I couldn't ask for anything better in a Pueblin. So I am super excited to have one of these guys again. And uh, all my snakes that I have are keepers. Uh, all of them. Nobody's going anywhere. Uh, these are all staying. So... We'll go ahead and wrap this up, this unboxing of sorts with this new apricot Pueblin milk snake now. And she just ate, you really can't tell, but she just ate Monday, it's Friday, so, you know. Uh, or maybe it was Tuesday. Actually, I'm sorry, it was Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday would have been the uh, 22nd, so. Uh, if I'm right, you know, I, I believe it was Tuesday. Yeah, because uh, I picked up the Saharan Tuesday and they they had fed it that morning. So this, this one got fed the same. So I'll get it in the uh, 10 gallon here and let it get settled in a bit. And next week I'll see about getting it. It's pretty small. So it's, it's obviously eating pinkies right now, pinky mice. So, um, but yeah, I'll definitely uh, see about getting it something to eat next week. You know, unless for some reason it goes into a blue phase, then uh, it looks pretty good right now. So, but um, that would be the only reason why I wouldn't pick it up anything is if it's going to go into a opaque cycle, but looks pretty good. It's nice and clean, right looking. So, all right, well, we'll go ahead and end this one here and I may shoot a few more videos here over the weekend of it. If, you know, out and about in its tank exploring or whatever, kind of like I did with the pre, you know. Uh, and of course, I got to come up with a name for this one as well. But uh, right now, anyway, so this is my newest. And actually, this is going to be my last acquisition probably for a while. Um, like I say, if a hog nose were to come along or maybe in a couple of months, I, I may take a shot at a black milk snake. But other than that, I'm definitely capped now on my snakes. And uh, this is going to be the final purchased for a while uh, so I've got a pretty good little collection now of snakes and I'm, I'm really happy with what I have and and, uh, and that's pretty much it for that so all right guys for now see ya